What's up, good people? Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. I hope everybody's having a great, finally, freaking Friday. The weekend is upon us, and I can't wait to get it going. Uh, we won't be doing our live stream tonight, 9 o'clock. We're going to be putting that off until tomorrow night. Uh, we'll be doing that at 9 p.m., and then Sunday we'll be having our off-season Zoom call on Sunday at 5 o'clock. Um, we have just, this is a little update here. I've got a few things I'm doing out here in the man cave before I'm going to be leaving for the rest of the day. Um, and I don't understand this one unless I do understand this one. Eric Bieniemy, who has been the offensive coordinator for a couple of Super Bowls now, uh, working with Pat Mahomes and, of course, Andy Reid, uh, who you would think should have opportunities to be a head coach. Now, there's been rumors that some people say that he talks mean to the players. Well, that guy, he gets results. Three Super Bowls, two winners, speaks volumes. Working with Pat Mahomes, who is the best quarterback in football. To leave that situation, he's interviewing with the commanders, not for head coach, He's interviewing with the commanders to be the offensive coordinator. I feel like that is a slippery slope being with the commanders. The rumors were that Ron Rivera was going to be replaced because the groups that are looking at buying the team have reached out to Sean Payton to say, what's your interest in being the head coach of the Washington commanders? The commanders, the team where quarterbacks careers go to die. If a new ownership group comes in, you get hired as offensive coordinator, chances are Ron Rivera and crew will be removed unless you are basically in here to take over as head coach. That's the only reason that, to me, it looks like a possibility. You don't leave Kansas City with a great quarterback, a great offensive-minded head coach, uh, Super Bowl-winning teams, to go to a fixer-upper in the Washington Commanders unless you're going to be a head coach. The sad thing for minority candidates are, generally speaking, they don't get the primo opportunities. They usually get the teams that literally just don't win. Or they get the opportunity when they know that we're tanking because we want to get high draft picks. And then they never get the opportunity again. You think about somebody like uh, Raven Caldwell. I'm sorry, Jim Caldwell. Caldwell, who was the offensive coordinator when the Colts and Peyton Manning won the Super Bowl, took the Colts to a Super Bowl as the head coach, ended up going to the Lions. And in four years, his worst season was seven and nine and took them to the playoffs twice. We're talking about the Lions. That guy can't even get an assistant job anymore. Can't understand it. So it's looking like, from what we're hearing from Ian Rappaport, sources say the commanders and chiefs offensive coordinator Eric Bianley have, mutually, have mutual interest as trending in the right direction as being their new coordinator. Both sides are working through the specifics, but Bianley is the top choice. If all goes well, it'll be official today. I'm sure Washington fans are excited about that because that guy's a winner who's worked with great quarterbacks and things and winning Super Bowls. It just doesn't make sense at this moment to me, if you're Eric Bieniemy. Just saying. Anyway, I got some work to do here, and I will catch you guys in a bit. Peace.